Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Pisces. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of February. So we're just going to see what comes up now. Uh, I'm going to go back to the weeklies when I get done my Februarys. I just needed to get my Februarys out there. I like to do a, them ahead of time. So what do we what do we have for the month of February? At any time in February for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. One card, please. Temperance. Temperance is about blending to create harmony. So you may need to make some compromises. You could be dealing with somebody that, you know, you're not seeing eye to eye with. Um both arms are crossed. That means that's not open to uh, compromise. You need to be open to compromise. We have a we have a disagreement here by the looks of things. It can be worked out with communication and cooperation. So I feel like this month, it's intemperance is a card of change of evolution and everything happens for a purpose so you know it's good to be grounded or it's good to be fluid in your case but you also need to be grounded you need to be realistic so this is a time of balance and a time of cooperation i feel like i feel like there's two people here that both need to give they both need to give it looks like this one's kind of upset we get a blonde haired woman um this one's kind of upset you know and this one's unwilling to give. It looks like we have a we have a joker over here. Yeah. So it's interesting. It's interesting. I think there's an opportunity to work together, but you will need to make some changes, make some compromises. Both people need to make compromises to create harmony. So I feel like uh, this is going to be a month of um, collaboration, managing feelings, cooperating. And changing your perspective on a situation for both people, two people here, both need to give a little. You both need to give a little rather than being so stubborn. I don't know. There could be a reunion here with the temperance card. That can be a reunion of some sort. But there's there could be some hard feelings, you know, that need to be talked out. And you can't have your arms crossed. You know, you're you got to be open. The temperance is about finding the self discipline to change and accept and cooperate. It's not always easy. But, you know, temperance comes after the death card. So there's renewal after death. So see, there, there could have been, it looks like we have a partnership that may have ended, but there's an opportunity for some sort of renewal or for things to get better. But the only way it's going to get better is to not be so stubborn. These two cards fell out. Psychic ability. Trust your intuition. Purse, pay attention to your finances. Absolutely. Listen to your intuition. Pay attention to your finances. Try to open up a little bit. It is a time of change. And it's positive change. Something has ended, obviously, because death comes before temperance. Now, now you have to manage your feelings. There's healing here. You know, it feels, I don't know, if this is a reconciliation of some sort. There could be. But we have somebody here that's probably unwilling. Both people, this, you know, this is red and this is green. This is stop, this is go. So it's interesting. So I feel like there's an opportunity to meet in the middle if you can, you know, communicate. What do we have for Pisces? One card, please. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So you got to stay positive. 
stay optimistic. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. So you, you do have to have faith. And, you have, and your intuition knows. Because we have this, this intuition card. So I'm going to put it up here. Okay, you have an intuition card that tells me that, you know, you know what you need to do. But you have to have faith and trust and not have any fear. So what, what do we have for Pisces? What do we have for Pisces for February? Change is coming or the temperance card wouldn't be here. Temperance comes after death, which is after an ending. There's a chance for renewal or healing. Nine of Cups reversed. Now that's extremely unhappy. Unable to give or receive love. That's lack of inner happiness, low self-esteem, lack of confidence. Um, something is being overlooked. There's no praise. There's being under acknowledged uh there's some sort of blockage blockage of your own happiness it's because of stubbornness i mean we can see the stubbornness in the cards disappointed somebody's very disappointed over a, a loss of some sort now the page of can't apologize won't apologize there's a lack of focus somebody's lost uh, sight of their goals they didn't put in effort they may have went down the wrong path, they gave up prematurely, they didn't follow through, there's a lack of integrity here. So somebody's lack of follow through in laziness, because the page of pentacles in reverse is laziness, has brought them, you know, some unhappy times, okay, right next to the nine of cups reverse. If you don't follow through, if you don't put in effort, even when it get, the going gets rough, then, you know, that's a problem. So I feel like whoever you're dealing with may have a barrier up. They may have some sort of barrier up or they may not want to put in any effort because there's been a lack of follow through. Somebody hasn't followed through, you know, it's, this is like a, you know, when you get the nine of cups reversed, it's a, it's like a wish, uh, falling apart. It's like a wish not being granted and it wasn't granted the wish. Well, it would have been if somebody would have taken, taken effort, you know, or they would have done something about it. So anyway, anyhow, that nine of, that nine of cups is a letdown and reversed. It's, it's, uh, <sighs> I don't know, maybe it's a cover up. Maybe we may have somebody here that is very conceited, you know, they're 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 high and mighty and it's just a cover up. It's not real. You're putting on some sort of a show, you know. Um Now this is unhappy news. It is. Nine of Cups reverse and this is news. So this is unhappy news. You may be receiving some unhappy news or something like that. Ooh, temperance reverse. Now temperance reverse is frustrated, moody, and this is moody as well. So we, we I think that you may you may be feeling moody this month. You may be feeling frustrated, you know, unbalanced. Uh there's lack of, of ability to manage your feelings. You might have a hard time managing your feelings. You know, somebody could even be drinking, you know, to cover up their feelings. I, I saw a cover up and this is, both of these cards can be drinking. Somebody could be drinking to cover up their feelings. I feel like uh, there's definitely um, an imbalance. There's an imbalance. There's um, not managing things very well. Repeating negative patterns. This is going overboard. Uh something is off there's a need to re-examine and self-healing is needed so something is going on we have somebody here that is that needs to heal they need to take better care of themselves they're going overboard uh they're not healthy they're frustrated they're engaging in negative patterns and it's in there and it's stopping them from having the happiness that they are meant to have. There's a lot of stubbornness here as well. I will not budge. I will not budge. Well, if you can't compromise, this is I will not compromise, then that's going not going to bring happiness to anybody in the situation. So I do feel like it's, it's very, uh, it's a very unbalanced situation. It's very, un, it's not easy. It's definitely not easy. Somebody is dealing with some, uh, setbacks per se and it's because they need to reevaluate their
perspective. I think it's perspective. You know, there's anger here as well. There's anger. Somebody needs to let go of their anger. Nine of Wands reversed in the Fool. Now, the Nine of Wands reversed is refusing to compromise. Somebody that has a chip on their shoulder. This is, again, negative, repetitive patterns. We have it in the Temperance reverse as well and the Nine of Cups reverse. Somebody keeps repeating the same negative, repetitive patterns. And it all, you know what it's doing? It's bringing them bad luck. They're not learning because they want their own way. At all, I want my own way. I'm, I, it's refusing. This is somebody that is very, very, very disagreeable. It's clear to see. This is extreme pride. We got somebody here that is sitting on a very high horse. They are. And they don't, they don't want any sort of challenge whatsoever. When the, when the going gets rough, when the going gets rough, they throw a little, it's like a little hissy fit. Or a little a silent treatment fit. You know, that kind of thing. Where it's like no communication, no cooperation. So this is like, if I don't win, if I don't get my way, and I'm not happy, then I'm not going to be nice to you. I'm not going to communicate with you. I'm not going to give you anything. It's, it's very childish behavior. It is very childish. I mean, we have somebody here with the page of pentacles reversed that is lacking common sense. They do not want responsibility. They don't want to commit themselves to any sort of change. So we got somebody here that is stuck. They are stuck in their own mindset of it's my way or the highway and they're going to end up alone. Or miserable with somebody that they don't love. Anyhow, the Fool card is a new beginning. This is an opportunity to start from scratch, to go someplace else, to leave it all behind. So you do have an opportunity. This is about taking a risk, leaving it. The, the Fool doesn't take anything with them. They leave it all. It's like very little. It takes very, very little on their new journey. It's like, you know what? I'm leaving it. So somebody is going to be given an opportunity to start a new journey and leave it all behind. But it will require faith because the fool has to have faith to step into unknown territory. So you will be given a chance to start with a clean slate. But it will require you... To accept challenge, and this is lack of acceptance, and this is challenge. This is not accepting any challenge. You'll have to come up, step up to the plate. You'll have to accept challenge. You know, if you want wish fulfillment or happiness, you're going to have to put in a lot of effort. You can't, you know, sit there with your arms crossed. So anyway, there's an opportunity to start with a clean slate. But it will require faith and trust. You will probably need to turn your back on what you once knew because the fool, that chapter of your life is over. This is a new chapter. It's a new journey. The last chapter, the, who you used to be, you, that gets left behind. So I feel like this month you have a new opportunity. You have a new beginning here, but you can't go into this new beginning with, a, with a, you know, the same mindset of being angry, being angry at life, everything that life has thrown at you. There's hard feelings here. You know, you got to let go of the hard feelings. There's an opportunity to start from scratch. This is starting with a clean slate. But it will require you leaving the past behind. And everything that has happened in the past, that includes your grudges, So anyway, I feel like this month you're going to be getting a new opportunity. You're going to be stepping into new territory. You are. Oh, death reversed. So, I don't know if there's some unfinished business here or something like that. Death reversed is a near-death experience. It's not over yet. But...
this holding on is getting old. It's time. It's time to go. It is definitely time to go. You need to face your fears. Somebody needs to face their fears and they need to let go of the animosity and the need to win. Win. You need to blend to create harmony. You need to cooperate. So this lack of cooperation is the biggest problem. Somebody's not learning their lesson. They haven't learned their lesson. And until they accept and allow that, you know, they're part of the issue, things are never going to get better. I feel like there's some sort of competing interests here. You know, there's hostilities, there's frustrations. We have somebody here that is very inconsistent. They don't really know what they want. And they're not being practical. They're not being realistic. They're not happy. There's an opportunity. And now the, the temperance card can, I don't know if it's a, it could be a reconciliation or to work together. There's an opportunity to work together, but the stubbornness is clear. Somebody is, I mean, the Nine of Cups is about wish fulfillment. It's about a dream come true. Somebody is losing an opportunity for wish fulfillment to have abundance, to have it all, because they are sitting on a high horse and they are refusing to compromise and they want their own way. Just go ahead, throw it away. Somebody else will take it. So anyway, Pisces, I feel like this month you need to manage your emotions. You need to um, let go of something you've been holding on to. I think it's some sort of a grudge. I do. Um, it's time for you to go in a new direction with the Fool card. That chapter of your life is over because the Fool is starting a new journey. It will require you to uh, let go of something. Seriously. Something that is weighing you down. You have to let go of something that is weighing you down. I don't know, maybe there's some sort of separation here. I mean, the Two of Cups is a separation. It's disharmony in a partnership. You know, there's inequality. There's a lack of compatibility. We have an unhappy couple here. There could be a breakup. Somebody could be losing a friend or losing a partner, you know. Whatever this is, I mean, the Fool is also about freedom. So this is freedom. So I don't know if there's uh, a sudden ending. It's, you know, with the, with, with the Fool is sudden and death is death. Even though the death is reversed, maybe we've got somebody who's been holding on to a partnership and they just suddenly decide, spur of the moment, to go down a new path. And the Nine of Wands reverse can be giving up the fight. So somebody may be deciding to give up the fight and go down a new path. Because there's an imbalance here. And there's poor health too. There's poor health with the temperance reversed. So anyway, I feel like this is definitely a time of change for you because temperance is an exchange Okay, it's an exchange. So there's going to be an exchange, put it that way. Um, now, it's usually, uh, you know, exchanging one thing for something better. So you, you may be exchanging, uh, you know, something lesser for something better. But it will require you to have faith and, and no fear because the, the fool card is no fear. You can't, you can't let fear hold you back. And there's a lot of pride here. There is extreme pride here. And you need to let go of the pride. And you may, and it's not going to be easy. It isn't going to be easy because of that uh, 
page of pentacles reverse that's like giving up prematurely somebody may have given up on something prematurely no they just didn't want to put an effort because they didn't want a commitment and they didn't want the responsibilities anyhow so i do feel like we have a new beginning here that comes after you know an ending there is an ending with the death card and the uh the fool card in the temperance card because temperance comes after death so we do we definitely have an ending and a new beginning here um and that it's the ending of a partnership that you are not compatible with somebody's leaving perhaps you're free good luck <laughs>